Here we go, it is now time for the update in Saber Simulator. Welcome to Amazing Gaming, I'm Amazing. And attention, here we go. Another update is upon us. I can't wait to show you what this is, I have no idea. Please, this is going to be exciting. Oh, there's a few weird flashes, what's going on? Oh my god, loading, skip. Okay, here we are. Alright, first thing I have to do is get new sabers because I equipped totally the wrong sa- Oh, what is going on? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's buy all. Let's see what the new saber is first. And equip it. And I think, I think it's the same. I, I don't know. Let's take a look. It is, wait, oh, so much to show you. Heaven Rage, oh my gosh, so now I am swinging 9.511N. Okay, so Heaven Rage is the new saber. Awesome. It is really cool. It's like the last one, it's very, very similar. We have uh, no new auras this update. No new skill or boss hits. Let's take a look at the classes and see if we've got something new. No, no new classes. So we've got new swords. It's insane that the sword is so OP like that. And I bet we probably have a new island. Oh, we do. It is island 14. So, and island 13. We've got two new islands to explore. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. And we're going already. Guys, we're, we're going already. Let's let's do this. Let's not waste any time. And we're flying so close to where we belong. And we're trying to go somewhere new. And I try to crack this iceberg open till it shatters through the ocean. I, I want to make shockwaves. I want to make shockwaves with you. Can I move the ocean current? Tell the waves flood what's been burning I wanna make shockwaves I wanna make shockwaves with you Okay, we've arrived at Island 13 and it is a 250 million egg. We're going to take a look at this right now and look at these pets. We're also going to open a few right now and see what we get. So we've got some animals here. We've got a miner, a lion, and a few other things. Some dragons, a blue bear, a log, a dominus clavus. I don't know what that is, but we do have the three percent. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look down. Scroll down a little bit and check out the 5 star 3% from this egg. There's a Dominus. Here it is. Dominus Clavis? I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced. But 131.58 on strength and coins and 75 on crowns. Uh, as we know, it's usually nowhere near better than anything we have equipped. I mean look it's only a third of my rainbow butterfly reapers who are also the three percent. So we're going to keep going up and get to the top island and check out the eggs on there. I'm hoping that it's not a Christmas egg, a candy cane egg. I really hope it's not. So we'll see. We're gonna go now. Right here we are at the top island. It's oh no 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 oh no 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 you're not you're not you you're not you're kidding me it's that's just no way 75 750 candy cane oh okay all right 
so we're not doing that we're, we're just not doing that egg uh, let's see if we pick up one year oh we're getting two okay so we're getting double around the map on candy cane pickup but it's not going to make up for the fact that this egg is double the price anyway so it's still going to take just as long to get everything um, I wonder if the Santa boss is any better. We're going to check it out. We're going to take a few hits on this and see if we get more candy cane for it. We'll see how we go. Okay, we just passed 2250 and that's exactly one spin of triple hatching on the top island egg at 750 uh, candy cane per egg per spin and that took a few minutes to cut down actually that took a few minutes so although there is double candy cane around the map that boss the only reason I'm able to cut it down and get 2000, over 2250, which is basically one triple spin, is because I have the double savers right here. So half that, and that's what the average person is going to get when they take on the candy cane boss, the Santa boss, to get enough for that top island. That is incredibly hard because one spin takes literally a split second or maybe a total of I don't know how many seconds just a couple of seconds to actually spin at the egg but to take the boss down for one spin is going to take you several minutes it's three minutes to wait per boss and then it's probably another three to five minutes to cut it down so you're looking about eight minutes even with a team of people to cut down a boss to get enough for one spin eight minutes that's seven spins per hour equivalent that is ridiculous so let's just run around the map and I've got my saber damage turned off so let's see we've got 2650 roughly we're gonna run around and collect and see how quickly the candy cane goes up just running around the map there is no magnetizing the candy to you and it has a very tiny hitbox so you have to literally run directly over it in order to pick it up as well. So it is a little bit tricky. So we're going to go through and see how much we can get. Hmm. I feel like this is still too slow. I don't feel that it's balanced enough for people to really enjoy that top egg at all. I think it's going to be more of a detraction from the game than it's going to be a positive thing. People seeing that there is actually um, an egg that is so expensive. Who knows what the rewards are going to be for that egg. I am going to do... Mm, I'm going to try and save up for three uh, triple hatching spins. So. I'm going to see if we get another Santa boss. I mean, we'd have to get nothing but Santa bosses for the rest of this week in order to make that egg work. If it's not a Santa boss, then it's just a waste of time. And it's not a Santa boss. Okay, so, wow. That's gonna be incredibly difficult. I've never really dissed or doubted an update until now. This one actually is not good. This one is not good because of that top island egg. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a good egg either. So until I save up enough of these candy canes, I'm not going to be able to tell you whether it's worth your time or not. 
And again, I'm only going to be able to do three spins. So I'm trying to get on these, but at the hit box to actually pick them up is so tiny. There's no proximity to it, so you have to really get right on it with your feet. It's always been that way, but yeah, it's always been that way. So I need 6,750. So I'm going to run around a little more and see what I can get. Just warning you though, I could be here for a while. <laughs> oh. oh, and I have a very good question. Uh, so what happens once this Christmas update is finished? We have two islands with two candy cane eggs on them now. So what's going to happen to those? Are the eggs from the other islands going to move down? And then you're going to just put two new eggs on the other islands? How is that going to work? Because this is obviously a limited time egg and event. So what's going to happen with those islands? Are they going to disappear completely? Or are they going to have their eggs changed out for, for the regular generic crown egg? whatever value that is it's probably going to drop down or something like that i don't know so what do you think is going to happen everybody do you think what's going to happen there because these eggs are not going to last obviously because the santa boss is a limited time boss this is taking entirely too long um yeah so there's just no way there is just no way i'm going to be able to do more than one spin We've got this boss here, which is at max. Nobody's really interested in it. I can try and server jump and see if I can get another server, but you know what? I'm just going to do one spin. I think that's all I can do. So as you can see, we've got this huge alleyway of, or it's like a maze of corridors, of portals, what you want to call them. We have the Island 12 that we had access to. We had the Christmas Island. And then Island 13 and then Island 14 so we're just going to do one spin I think that's all we can do just one spin and I'm oh my gosh see look the candy is two times candy sale so it's basically doubling your candy when one spin it's going to cost you more than 200 Robux. I mean, you won't even get two spins out of 400 Robux. You'll actually get three spins out of 800 Robux. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get a little bit of shiny charms. Just a little bit. I'm going to do one spin and we're going to see how we go. So here we go. So we've got a snow globe, an ice knight, and a yeti. Um, I'm actually going to com directly compare these four stars. So let's scroll down and find them. Right, so the four star dragon is 111.98. That's actually pretty good, I have to admit. That's from the other egg that we haven't gone to yet. The ice knight is an extra 10 per swing. So it's actually pretty good. The snow globe is we weaker. But it's better than the miner. We can actually turn the miner into a gold. Let's take a look at it. 142.96 on strength and coins and 72 on crowns for the miner as a gold. And that's from the previous egg. That's Island 13. So the Ice Knight is pretty good. But so is the dragon from the other one. And the dragon is much easier to obtain. So with that in mind, let's go to the island that we just went to before, Island 13, and let's hatch some of these. So I'm just going to do a quick inventory tidy up and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're going to start hatching these. I've got room for about 250 pets, so we will see how we go. Okay, pet inventory is full. We can't extend the pet inventory beyond 350 at the moment but we do have some uh, cute little pets so we've got this fungus right here now a basic fungus is a 50 strength in coins and 44 crowns a shiny version is double that so it's 100 
strength coins and 88 crowns we are going to take a look at those so we're going to start right at the bottom we can do fungus and logs so we've got a shiny log as well basic log is 58 we're going to make it golden so you can see all, all of them this is a two star so our basic is 58.75 on strength and coins and 48 on crowns a golden is 88 and a shiny is 117 so they do go up quite well and then we have the blue bear which is 69.03 base stats with 46 on crowns let's have a look at the golden 103.54 a shiny blue bear is 138.06 okay on the lions a basic one is 81 a golden is 121 and a shiny is 162 and then we have a basic miner at 95 which is your four star we'll make it a golden 142.96 on strength and coins for a golden and 72 on crowns and a shiny is 190.62 on strength and coins and 96 on crowns we have a dragon at 111.98 on strength and coins 49 on crowns we're gonna make it a golden golden is 167.97 on strength and coins 73.5 on crowns and a shiny is 223.96 on strength and coins 98 on crowns let's go up and the next one is the dominus and we currently only have three of those at 131.58 on strength and coins and 75 on crowns so we're going to do a quick combine all and let's unequip all pets Oh, actually we don't have the ability to unequip all we have to manually do it all right let's go down and take a look at this is a fungus so we're gonna check him out cute little guy cute little derpy face here's shiny fungus very glowy my gosh maybe I should put my weapons away there we go shiny fungus for you so we're gonna do golden log uh, golden log should look the same as basic log and then shiny log wow look at that glow so golden log you can't actually see the glow you can just make it out a tiny bit but because it's such an elongated pet you don't actually get to see the glow effect on it so you just have to take their word for it that it's a golden because the gold effect is centralized in the pet and it doesn't extend out beyond it very well the shiny one though you can see the part of it that they've made shiny on the log so we'll unequip those okay now we're going up into the bears so we're going to equip a golden bear and a shiny bear and a golden lion and a shiny lion oh my gosh okay so the the golden bear you can see actually the golden effect a lot better there you can see the shiny blue bear effect quite well it's very glowy it's actually quite nice the lion is cool although the lion tail looks like the monkey tail uh, with just the lion face it mm, feels a little long I don't know what are lion tails really like so those are the blue bear and the lion in both golden and shiny now we're moving up to the golden dragon and the shiny dragon and while we're at it we're going to throw on a golden miner and a shiny miner so we're just going to move out the way a little bit there we go okay so that shiny miner is really cool it's like a noob with the pickaxe the golden dragon and the shiny dragon the shiny is not really super shiny i kind of appreciate that it still glows quite nicely uh, but it's a basic pet still looks pretty cool though so that is the golden and shiny dragon and the golden and shiny miner okay next we have the snow globe and the ice knight from the new christmas island look at that snow globe it's actually really cool it's squared off though but it has a little house in it with a little snow globe effect and the ice knight is a really cool pet look at it that looks pretty awesome it's like it's wearing its armor it's got its eyes showing through almost like um what are you domus eyes but yeah that is really cool i like those ones let's unequip those and then finally the dominus clavis look it's got keys it's like a rainbow collection of keys on it i actually don't know what it's supposed to do 
but it's really cool look at that future me is butting in here to give you another little update on the pets you'll notice that my score is a lot bigger right now and you'll see I've got some better pets from this egg the 250 million egg up here on island 13 so first is the golden dominus claves or clavis I'm not sure how it's pronounced but it's 197.37 on strength and coins and 112.5 on crowns then next we have the golden dominus venari which is this one right next to it there you can see it golden dominus venari that one there is 231.91 on strength and coins 127.5 on crowns and then we're going to move into the shiny dominus venari so that's like a hundred basic dominus venaris this is a 0.3 percent pet the shiny looks amazing i think because of the yellow glow on it it is super sorry that's my nose super super cool so we're gonna do the shiny dominus venari next that one here is 309.22 on strength and coins and 170 on crowns it is seriously op and then finally right behind my shoulder there you will see the rainbow dominus claves or clavis i only have one of those it is currently my best pet and it is 328.95 on strength and coins and 187 on crowns i also have the moon pet this is the skull as you can see it has got the black uh, void well pool effect on it it's actually gray it's a skull detail skull arms it's square pet and that skull is 174 on strength and coins and 120 on crowns so that is the moon pet for this egg and this is currently my best team so with the new rage sabers here the heaven rage I am now doing 110.562 in in strength on each swing so that's pretty good and that so far because I haven't had a chance to actually do any grinding for pets all day all yesterday either because it's too close to Christmas um, this is pretty much what I get per swing right now so that is the best I have in swing power Anyway, there is something else coming up before the end of this video. I am going to have a little montage of some awesome clips of some gameplay and some fun times with the fans and friends here in Saber Simulator. So we're going to check that out at the end. Please make sure you stick around for that in the video.
um, that's probably going to be about it for this update. So to recap on what this update actually had, it's version 1.77. We've got double candy cane event all week, two times all earned candy canes, two times sale on candy canes in the shop, two more islands added, so we've got 13 and 14, two eggs added, winter egg and nature egg, new sabers, so we've got the rage saber as you can see, equipped, a winter themed map hasn't changed. So nothing else has changed, but that is what we currently have. 750 candy cane for that top island. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Good luck to everyone who's going to go for that. I do wish you the best of luck. Anyway, thanks for watching my Amazing Gaming Playing Saber Simulator for this new update. I wish I could bring you more. I really do. But we will see you again for the New Year's update on this game. So have a great Christmas everybody, we'll see you again next time, bye!